Here at Eyewitness News, you know we love a good story, an inspiring one. And right now, we have a good one for you. This is an exciting day. Pedro Rivera was born in the Bronx, grew up watching Eyewitness News. Look at young Pedro. Too cool. <laughs> when he decided he wanted to go into the news business, he got an internship in the Eyewitness News Sports Department. Love this story. After graduating from college and working at TV stations on the West Coast, Pedro... He's coming home. Ah. Yes, tomorrow morning he's going to make his debut on the weekend morning anchor desk alongside Michelle Charlesworth and Danny Beckstrom. Danny, and Danny. New teammate. Let's go. I love that. So, Pedro, <laughs> welcome. It's a homecoming for you. Yes. But you yeah. spent some time out in Hollywood. I did. And you happened to also be a big movie buff. Yes. Big movie guy. So, we want to do a little round robin of okay. questions for you. So, since this. you are a movie buff and since we are going to be airing the Oscars That's in right. 37 days, <laughs> who do you have dibs on? Because I know you love movies. Yeah. So, best, best picture, I think Oppenheimer is going to win. That's the brain pick. My heart. American Fiction, The Holdovers, okay. fantastic movies. I saw uh, Nyad, which is not nominated for Best Picture, but okay. I saw Nyad yesterday. Fantastic, but Oppenheimer is is the yeah, movie. a lot of people. Okay. We, we got to catch up on these. Gotta see Oppenheimer. I, see, I go every <laughs> week. Every week I, I see a movie. I go to the theater every single week. I like to go watch them, especially around this time of year. So, wow. so you're able to judge these performances in these films in real time. So, so we thought if. If and when, actually when they make when? a movie of when? Pedro Rivera, <laughs> a who, would you, who would you want to play you in a film? That's not passing a rotten tomato. Question. Um, <laughs> probably uh, Jarrell Jerome. Um, he another you know Afro Latino like myself. He's younger than me, which can help you know bring down my age a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I was thinking like The Rock because I was like I want yeah. to be this big muscular. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it probably Jarrell Jerome. He's a fantastic actor. Nice, yeah. nice. So tell us. I mean, you got to be super excited. Your family's here. Yeah. And this is just it's kind of full circle for you. It feels weird. I was an intern here at WABC, um, born in the Bronx, and I spent my elementary school years in Albany, and then um, for several years I moved to Ellenville for high school, which is a very small town in upstate New York um, near Kingston, um, and then Pace University, graduated in Westchester County, and then moved right back to the city and got my first couple jobs here in, in New York, um, and then my mom's here, my family's here, oh, aunts, uncles, That's everything. So. Uh, I grew up watching this, and, and the fact that I'm here right now sitting on this desk is I've fulfilled a dream. You're going to spend I feel a lot the same exact here. way having been from Queens yeah. and finally yeah. working at the, this, you know, storied yeah. station. It's just Even just walking by the station, right? looking from the outside, yeah. it just gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Really fact special. That, yeah. well, let's so round out the I'm, team. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, is there maybe something that you <laughs> are excited about specifically about this new weekend job? Maybe a person? Maybe a person like a Michelle Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! There she is. is. How you doing this morning? <laughs> oh, my dog is excited. Precious. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Precious. Like now, Michelle We're is. We're so excited to be together, Pedro. I just met you, like, in the summer, and then I met you Monday. Yeah, Monday. And we got to hang out, so that was nice. Precious, you be quiet. We got lunch <laughs> together, um, and I learned a lot about her. I even told Michelle, like, first five minutes of coming to the station, I was like, oh, there's so much stuff under my desk here already. And she was like, don't worry about it. She crawls under and is just throwing everything out. She's like, yeah, get comfortable, get comfortable. That sounds about right. And I was like, oh, this is what I'm going to be dealing with. This is fantastic. So, yeah, she's been It wasn't wonderful. my stuff. Uh -huh. It was other people's stuff. Uh-huh. Was it Mike's stuff? No. I think Mike was fine. It might have been Mike's stuff. It might have been Mike's stuff. Furry, those furry boots, I will take The furry back. boots. Because, you know, now that we've... The done, Uggs. The yeah, furry yeah, Uggs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Well, we're so excited to have you I get to work with you and, and you I know, was waiting for you to say it. I mean, you've been on camera for like four minutes well, now. Well, I'll say quickly behind the <laughs> scenes thing. I made a comment, you know, about Taylor Swift and the NFL. Yes. Yeah. And I, I learned very quickly there's a line you do not cross. And Taylor Swift yeah. is that line with Danny. Basically what he's saying is we've already had our first fight, but we made it through. <laughs> we made it through. And if we can get through a fight over Taylor Swift, we can make it through anything. Okay, well. Anything. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're friends. Yeah. Sure. Listen, I think the Pedro <laughs> era is fantastic. I yeah. think welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome. So yeah. thank you for guys. all of you. Thank you. Thank we'll you guys. See tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yes. Tomorrow morning. Yes. Tomorrow morning. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. <laughs> see you, you too, Michelle. Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Your dog, Precious. Bye, love. <laughs> oh, bye, Precious. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh, that's too good. Well, so, we talked about how you were from L.A. Yeah. And I'm sure your first few days in New York with all this, it was a little gloomy. So yeah. Bring him back that L.A. Sun. sunshine. Still haven't seen the sun yet. What, it's been nine, 11, 11, 11 days? 11 days today. But tomorrow, to, tomorrow's your day, man. Let's get to it. <laughs>